Hello and welcome back to uh, Battletech. Um, I'm in a I'm in a spot here. Apparently, if you uh, go bankrupt, the game just ends. So I really gotta stay on top of this. So we're gonna start with um, well, we're gonna we're gonna jump into our mission here. I'll throw myself into the blackjack. Um, I don't know why I didn't just like auto assign stuff here. Um, Vindicator, was that the one I set to? No. Uh, what, which one was the long range? Okay, I like Decker on long range. Um, although I suppose Decker doesn't have multi hit right now, so we can set glitch to long range. And Decker can continue being in the spider. Yeah, this seems alright. We'll keep like this. Uh, these mechs have reduced performance in battle. Yes, yes, I know. I I don't believe that this will, like, hurt me financially, this mission. You know, go ahead and uh, quote me on that if it goes truly sour. Vehicles take extra damage from melee hits. I knew that, actually. We'll do a pause here because it's going to probably be a minute. All right. I don't think there will be another loading. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a little loud. Our intel was right. There aren't any nearby and reinforcements, but there are fixed gun uh, emplacements. Move up, neutralize the turrets, and level that base. Watch out for the garrison, Commander. It's nothing too dangerous, but every bit of damage costs Oliviera out. Yeah, no kidding. This place isn't so bad. I love that emblem. Right? I The more I look at it, the more I, I think it's very fitting of me. Okay, so we're going to move forward. Build up some evasion. So, um, gotta remember that the spider basically doesn't have any... Well, they've got some guns, but they're... The ideal situation is that we, um, punch with the scout. Okay, let's, um... That was me. Okay, so let's go ahead and move up. Can we get a shot? Wow, we can't get a shot, huh? With LRMs, we can't get a shot on the turret with the LRMs there? That is most peculiar. Um, destroy the smuggler base. Destroy the pirate garrison. Okay, well... We're just gonna sprint forward and hope that um, they miss. build up oh 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 there's some mechs over there i didn't realize there was gonna be mechs over there i i actually have for, kind of forgotten this mission it's just a locust miss that's fine that's good okay there's our scout um kind of wouldn't can we what can we where can we jump not far i guess i did i i shortchanged our jump jets how many jump jets did i put on this thing i don't know but uh, clearly sprinting is going to be a better idea. Um, let's just go ahead and move here and then maybe we can punch them if they get closer. We build up our evasion. Nice. I don't recognize that laser. Okay, so um, we're going to want to move forward and um, I think I'm going to want to kill those turrets. There's probably a turret factory, but I don't care. Um, we don't have multi-hit yet, so this is kind of a waste, but it, it you know, I, I think I made the mistake of not committing to certain attacks in the last mission, so let's learn from our mistakes. Okay, we're going to move forward. Um, that's a really good... Yeah, that's really good. That's a good range. We'll be able to hit whatever that unknown mech is. Is it a commando? Yeah, it is a commando. This is a this is a pretty good. Although, hmm, why is the RLM target moved? Target size. It's smaller, I guess. Um, well, okay. I mean, it has evasion. Well, we can't hit the locust with the medium laser, so we may as well take a shot on the commando. Also, every time I say take a shot, go ahead and take a shot. 
Starting now. No, I, you don't have to do that. When they say uh, drink responsibly, they, they don't... I don't think they meant that. Um, can we get closer with the Vindicator? Not really. Um, maybe we can get closer to that turret. Yeah, that's much better. Nice. Trying, I'm trying very hard to um, make a good plays here. Can we make a melee hit? Okay, we can make a hit, melee hit on this locust. So let's do that. Copy that. Punch! Oh, I missed. Hit him with the lasers, or the machine guns, rather. That was pretty good, actually. We did some really nice damage to the locust. Of course, our um, spider is out in the open now. Ooh, that was some na nasty damage. Okay, Decker, uh, it's not your turn. I don't know why I thought it was your turn. Okay, let's move up. And, uh, you know, it's not bad. We can kill the locust, probably. Uh, it does have some fairly high evasion. But I still think we'll, we'll kill it. Mm, very close, but no. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm a little bit worried about um, the spider. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to just barely put this locust in my view range and i'm gonna do a multi-hit we're gonna just hit the locust with the laser and then we're gonna also shoot this turret out here with some lrms i don't think we'll kill either yeah that's fine we kill so we remove some evasion that's the important part oh, we might kill it oh very close I feel pretty good about that move, actually. I think that that was the right move. And now the uh, Locust has a low enough evasion that we can pretty much dedicate an attack. And guarantee... Wow! Three misses, huh? Okay, that's not bad. I'm willing to live with that. Standing by. Let's just uh, run in and punch the Locust. We probably will kill it with a punch. Punch. Destroyed. Don't use the machine guns. Eh. They commit. They commit to the attack, so even if they kill it, they'll still use all of the, the weapons that you, that you chose. Wow, that was quite a quite a right hook you, you gave me there. Um, I'm going to do a jump back slightly and then hit you with everything. Not bad. Nice. That, uh, no, it didn't. It was left torso that that got hit there. Um, I would like to hit that, kill that turret. Oh, wow. Um, it says I'm going to be able to reach it, but it doesn't give me a reading on how much. Okay. We should be able to kill it with a medium laser. So let's go ahead and hit it with a medium laser, and then I want to shoot at one of these buildings with something else. Got it. Uh, unless we miss, of course. Enemy structure is weakening. Uh, we could just like, let's just like stomp on this thing. Gaging. Right arm destroyed. Support laser. I was really hoping it would kill it. I I need to stop with maybe some of these multi-hits. Because if I committed, I would probably kill these things a lot faster. Now, uh, fortunately for me, I get to commit with the... You know, like, the, the nice thing about giving myself a scout that can only melee hit is I have to commit with it. Can we, can we kill that thing? Is it really not dead? Wow. Okay, bud. I've just about had it with your shenanigans. Out of this. Out of here. 
probably could have like precision struck that um not for any other reason than like choosing which parts we want to keep you're gonna hate me for this but i am gonna do a multi-hit but i'm gonna dedicate more to killing um the light light turret of course we hit it with laser that's fine i'm i'm cool i'm cool with this up 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 can we kill the building no that's fine at least uh, there's nothing else to you know there's no more dangers right now um wow can we do a jump would a jump be yeah a jump is better okay yeah let's get in there and just like hit hit one of the other buildings 200 yeah that's good We'll run, we'll run in there. We're not going to be able to hit anything, but we'll run in there. Oh, there's another turret. I'm, yeah, I, never mind, I will not run in there. Roger. Receiving you. Okay, well, let's, oh, um, never mind the large laser. Firing. Really thought that was going to do it, you, but it did not do it. Um, I, j I guess I just really like doing multi-hits. Oh, uh, and also shoot it. Oh, we can't hit that thing. Dang. Give me a sec. Uh, all right. Let's just, let's just dedicate, uh, an actual, like, we'll, we'll actually commit to an attack for once. Can we, can we actually shoot it? Yeah, there we go. Well, the fact that it didn't die, it tells me that I should have just committed. My freaking dude is, like, not even close enough to hit anything. Our, oh, I've set up our blackjack to be very short range. Commander. I'm just going to have you hold back. Confirmed. Holding. Okay, go ahead and shoot on that base. There we go. This is going to be kind of boring. I could even do like a pause here and then just like kill the rest of these buildings because there's not going to be much to watch. Really? We did not destroy it, huh? Incredible. Okay. Uh, just, just go ahead and brace. Continue shooting that down. I do like the different, like, tiers of destruction. Okay. <laughs> Multi-hit. No, no, no. Just, just, uh... We're just gonna, we're gonna commit to killing this thing. Again, this is just like, it's, we're just destroying buildings. Ready for orders. Locking on. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, we're done. We're good. We're not good. There's still more smuggler base to destroy. What's up, boss? What's up? Can I? Okay, I guess I could get Decker in there to, to actually shoot something. Firing on target. Really? We're just like we're just shooting buildings, huh? I don't remember this mission. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna commit cause, to each building because I this is this is getting old. Pew pew pew. Not dead yet. Enemy turn. Oh, I'm glad I'm not close enough for that last turret to hit me. Um, turn off one medium laser. There you go. All right, get to the evac zone. Where is that? It is past that last turret. We're, we're gonna have to kill that last turret, aren't we? I guess we don't necessarily have to, but I just really feel like we have to. We should just, we just, we should just like kill it. Okay, um, I'm gonna move in and try and hit it. I just don't trust, first of all, that there aren't more uh, mechs. 
we hit it with that. Ah, uh, we don't need to do that. There we go. I can do an extract. Oh, okay. That was the last thing. But, okay. Cool. All right. So, um, we didn't really take any damage. That went very well. Though we didn't have a lot to fight, for sure, but, um, still. Things can go very badly. We got an LRM for our troubles. LRM 5. Probably will not be using that. Each shot of an autocannon after the first suffers a recoil penalty. I didn't know that, actually. So we are no longer going to go bankrupt, but just the same, we're going to want to take a mission in the vicinity, if possible. Um, both of these are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and do a logistical... Uh, let me see here. Oh, so pinpoint their destination. A hidden, well-defended logistics depot. Facility is a key supply for pirate forces in this region. Taking it from them will significantly damage the... Okay, straightforward. Now, this is um, something we get to do is we get to a negotiate payment. The maximum payment is 217, but right now we're only going to be, gonna, gonna be getting 118. Um, that being said, if we forego some payment, then we get to negotiate more parts. Uh, more parts means like when we destroy mechs on the battlefield, we get more stuff. The two means like how many parts we get to cherry pick out of the pile, and then the 11 are kind of gotchified. Um, and then, you know, so we just, like get random parts. So if we take full payment, we don't get to cherry pick anything and we only get three gotcha um, parts. That being said, I really, really need the money. So we're going to take the money. Um, if you don't take any structural damage on your mechs, they will like fully heal after battle, which is kind of nice. Uh, reduce, that's fine. But yeah, any structural damage and basically um, they that will remain between battles and then i can repair but then that takes time um so if i play my cards right and this is one a good reason to have like full armor on all of my mechs then i can basically guarantee i don't uh, you know spend any money repairing my mechs that being said some missions uh, the missions are going to get hard enough that eventually you won't be able to get through a mission without taking some damage it's basically impossible and also you know i got lucky um, you know, you can definitely optimize things to make sure that you kind of mitigate, um, like focused damage on certain parts of your mechs, but you might also just kind of get unlucky and they can get a lucky hit on the same part multiple times and therefore do structural damage. Commander, I'm not picking up any ha active hostiles anywhere. The place looks deserted. Is that a, is that a joke? Cause we're in, a, we're, we're in a desert. Let's move up and recon the facility. Once we know what we're dealing with, we can move in and occupy the depot. This place isn't so bad, right? Right. Move up. You betcha. I did pretty good with the scout. Um, that was the first time I've really used the scout in combat. It worked out well. It's an oddly um, long cutscene. Let's move. Uh, no. A little bit concerned about how I do this because as soon as you make contact, you get put in initiative. Move order received. On my way. Okay, what I'd like to do is actually move with Decker, Decker first. Wonder, scout the depot. We like run in here. What will happen? What the hell? There's no garrison. Wait, we're getting something. Commander, it looks like the garrison was on patrol and they're on their way back. Get ready for multiple contacts. Pacify the area around the base. Occupy the depot. Okay, I can do that. So yeah, because I don't have enough uh, uh, enough jump jets or like maximum jump jets, um, my jump is highly reduced. That being said, um, I usually use the jump for um, like uh, kind of flexibility, not mobility, at least that's you know how i look at it it's nice jumping on top of rocks and mountains and stuff for sure uh i i highly like that but um i'm kind of comfortable with just being able to to backpedal and uh, maintain our direction i don't know we don't really want to um 
damage any of these. What is that? Dangerous. A drop pod is inbound to this location. Units here are at risk of destruction. Okay. Well, let's just like move the scout as much as possible and get that evasion. Um, I mean, let's let's do that for everyone, honestly. I'm pretty sure this drop pod area is where the mechs are going to be coming in. Moving out. Actually, we probably want to move the behemoth a little bit back because there, she's the long range. Um, enemy contact. Other... They're coming in over there, huh? Okay. Interesting. Ready for orders. Okay, well, we can move in. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is actually reserve Decker till the end of initiative. This is our, a Jenner. Jenner's a much higher weight mech oh we got more coming in huh ouch that was rough Barely hit, Commander. okay so they aren't going to be shooting at us anymore um we can start hitting them back uh i would def i think what i'd like to do is start hitting the jenner the spider what does the spider have two medium guns machine guns or sorry two machine guns and a medium laser which is nothing to scoff at but the Jenner is four medium lasers and an SRM. Much more, much, much more to worry about there. So I think we want to start focusing on the Jenner. Um, so what I'd like to do is take some shots with the Blackjack. Since my position with the Blackjack isn't great, I don't mind sacrificing um, some of his attacks, some of my attacks, um, just to reduce that evasion a bit more so I can hit it with something a bit better. That wasn't terrible, honestly. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. So now we're going to move over here. And actually getting a spot on that last mech wouldn't be a horrible right. idea. We are exposing our right arm. What is on our right arm? Just our medium laser. That's fine. I'm cool with that. SRM destroyed. Well, that's uh, that's a little bit of firepower taken care of. Um, so this is like one of those weird cases where having jump jets, even a small number of jump jets, is really good. I somehow found myself on this little ledge here. I didn't realize that that was there. So I can just do a little jump. A little, just a little, little jump. A little tiny jump. And uh, this is actually... Um, I wouldn't say a short-range um, mech, but... Jumping short-ish certainly we are not going to be uh we're not gonna you know sacrifice anything by moving up closer there we go that looks like it destroyed oh we knocked it down that's good enough honestly knockdown is good knockdown basically means that we get to um pick our shot when we when we take our next shot unfortunately i can't really do anything with um decker but what I wanted to do is just kind of like, you know, let him stay in the back, not get shot, and then move up, and we could take take advantage of his initiative bonus. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just shoot at this guy. Did I miss everything? That's fine. Actually, I don't mind missing with the scout. Um, again. We just want to kind of needle away at that evasion so that they, it's easier to hit him with something a little bit oomphier, you know? Decker, I think, is going to take out this Jenner by stomping on it. I love the music in the background. Yeah. Shoot it. Nice. I, I will say I actually really like the music in this game. I have uh, I've really enjoyed it. There's a a, a story mission coming up. Um, I won't spoil it, but it's got some of the best like ramping up mission music ever. 
like for like just a little like a tactics game i enjoy it so much okay this is again one of those situations where i like having the jump and actually we can build up quite a bit of evasion we'll build up a little bit of heat as well um actually what we could do kill like several birds with one stone here is jump back into the forest build up three evasion and shoot the spider in the back although the spider has a lot of evasion built up so it probably will miss with everything but that's fine oh we hit it pretty pretty solidly and we destroyed the jump jets i've never really seen the uh, enemy jump oh this is a glitch so we actually with glitch we want to hit the commando He's got some evasion too, but they're uh, farther away. And then, you know what we could do? We could do a precision shot on the commando. Um, what have they got? SRM ammo. That's kind of it. What have they got? I can always hit them in the torso, but I think I want to hit them in the left torso. I don't know. They don't really have much ar more structural armor. I'm just going to hit them in the center torso. I think that that's good enough i don't i don't think this this thing is beefy enough to try and like big brain and then this is our um laser beef uh oh we can actually get a pretty good jump in here if we jump over there then we'll be able to shoot it from behind here we go i'm amazed i was able to do that jump but we are going to overheat quite a lot um we don't want to do that that will, will t probably take some structural damage if I take on that all that heat. But hey, look at all this structural damage we're going to do right now. Pew, pew, pew. We missed all three times, huh? Cool. Wow. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yeah, no kidding. You can say that a third time. Injury. Yeah, so I just took a head injury. That's going to suck because that means I'm going to have to spend time in the infirmary. Let's uh, run over and punch this commando. I can't believe Decker's honestly doing like some of the best damage. Engaging. Well, that wasn't great, but it was something. Oh, wow. A stray shot on me. Um, I don't really have a support weapon. Let's just like shoot it from behind again. I'm probably gonna have to turn off a couple guns. Oh, actually no, we're good. Wow, can we can we please like not miss anymore? Um. actually doing some good stuff here with the, this this jump so yeah i'm gonna split my shot again i'm sorry we got a great shot here with the uh medium laser so i may as well take advantage of that and then i'm just gonna throw all my lrms at the commando it's just too good not to do uh -huh. look at that left leg destroyed knocked down Um, so this is the spider. He's probably going to be able to, um, get up before anyone else attacks. And I think Decker's, yeah, the Decker's way too far away to actually hit it. So I'm just going to shoot it on the ground. This will mean, I, I should probably move back a little bit because I don't want to expose, like, my full right. Oh, wow. it looks like there's not really much way I can do about that. Um, can we hit it with a medium laser? Yeah, we can hit it with basically everything. And uh, I can cherry pick here. Firing. There we go. Ammo explosion, too. We had a fun little extra crit. Yeah, I was a little worried that was going to happen, but I still haven't taken any structural damage. You can tell, by the way, if that gray line on the on the left side of their health turns red, that means they've taken some structural damage. 
Could we do like a jumping? No, our jump is really bad on the scout right now. So let's just run in and do some basic damage with our machine guns. We'll do a precision strike. Uh, I don't think we can do anything really meaningful. Oh, yeah, actually, we can hit the torso. There was a chance that could have killed them. I wonder if I, my position is just like really bad with my blackjack. There you go. Drop down inbound for landing. We're going to get in and out real quick. Ooh, the frames. Why are the frames bad? The frames, though. The de depot is ours, Commander. We're ready to pull you out of there. I suspect Merrick will be very pleased with this haul. There you go. All right. So this is going very well. Um, we're making these missions happen without any any major damage and um we're we're pulling ourselves out of this financial hole i don't I actually i should have paid a bit more closer attention to what i got there the rimward frontier all right, everybody, gra gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught a something. Who's the client? Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be a member of the uh, Canopian elite. She says that she's got a big job lined up and she wants us for it. Us specifically. She called the commander out by name. How would she even know about us in the first place? It isn't like we're drowning in publicity here. Good question. I'm betting we don't have an answer. You're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list off about five different banks that'd love to repossess this ship. We're shopping for uncertified contracts between uh, behind the review board's back, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. She reached out to us with a priority HPG message, and those ain't cheap. Rich is good. I like rich. So do I, and the fact of the matter is, we're hemorrhaging sea bills out here. No kidding. It's worth the risk. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Our new client vents us out the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space. Thanks for that delightful image, Yi Yang. Uh, look, for Florentia, I'll admit, this is sketchy as hell, but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bellerophon. The client will be waiting. Contact to meet with our Canopian mystery client is ready for review in the command center. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. Our mech warriors have picked up a fair amount of combat experience over these last few drops. Head to the barracks to review their dossiers and direct their training. And don't forget, you can check on the state of our finances from the terminal in your captain's quarters if you ever want to change our mercenary company's name or symbol. You can do that from there, too. Okay, well, um, I actually kind of think that would that that should do it for the episode. I think the next one is the mission I was talking about, benefactor. Um, I think we're probably pretty well equipped to take that on. Although we only get thirty thousand from that. I, uh, yeah, the thing about it is that if I take the benefactor mission, um. I won't have to I won't have any travel time. Are we waiting for anything? Yeah, me. I'm out of commission for 27 days. Um that kind of puts me in a tight spot because honestly, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to do that other mission. 27 days that sucks. Um where how how far out is the other mission? 17 days. So that would mean 17 days and then I have to wait another 10 for my character to recover and then we do the mission and it would take us 17 days to get back. It's probably worth it. So why don't we go ahead and nip this in the bud and do this mission 
Um, and again, I'm going to prioritize money just to continue um, digging ourselves out of this hole. Travel to Detroit. Uh, usually I would prioritize getting uh, mech parts, by the way, but because I had overspent us so badly and because we were so close to, like, literally losing the game, I figured um, we really need the, the bills. So, hence why I'm prioritizing uh, finances so much. Also, there's another secret reason, which is that I like to overpay um, my mech warriors so that we get a morality bonus. We're ready to proceed with our current contract not yet um it's something that you should do if you can because getting that morality bonus basically means that we can do things like precision strikes a lot more often when we're in our uh our combat oh stop 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 okay launch the contract Um, and also, uh, it's a lot more feasible to do this in the early game, apparently, than it is in the late game. At least that's what I've read. I don't know if that's true. Um, and I believe the morality gauge stays, um, like, pretty much for the rest of the game. Like, if you build it up, it stays up so long as you maintain it. So if I build it up in the early game then I, and maintain it for the rest of the game, then we should be able to have high morality for basically the whole game. Um, so worth it, I think. So we'll do this mission. I'll make this as part of this episode as well, just so that we kind of like check a, a final box. And um, after this, or if, you know, whoever's watching this series, you can let me know uh, in the comments. Uh, would you like to see me do missions? Like these are the kind of missions that we're going to be doing. Or would you prefer that I do like, um, you know, edited episodes of like here's you know i finished these three episodes and here's some notable or highlighted highlight moments and um you know just like they you know get rid of the grind and then save the actual like prolonged episodes for when i do story missions we've got them commander right out in the open these guys are amateurs get eyes on them and take them out good hunting commander olivia out so this is a jungle planet. Um, all the different biomes do have effects on the mechs, by the way. Generally speaking on heat, but also, you know, if there's stuff like trees, for instance, they provide more cover. Um, you know, snow biomes, you're not going to have as much cover. Um, desert planets, it's going to be rough on your heat, obviously. Stuff like that. But, um... Also, jungle planets will have these, these kind of like spore forests. They will do damage to you after you've moved through them, which can suck. Don't know if I can hit from there, but let's go ahead and give it a go. Oh yeah, we can most certainly hit it from there. Committed the whole thing because I really want to get rid of that vehicle so we don't take an extra damage from it. Surprise I can't hit anything so I can hit this guy here and that's a pretty good position for glitch It's just a spider mech. Uh, unfortunately, this guy's Got um, quite a lot of evasion. So I don't think this is gonna really do much for us I honestly wonder if it wouldn't be a better idea to just brace I shouldn't have moved with glitch first. That was a bad move So we'll take the shot now that I've moved her wasn't bad it was actually pretty good Standing by. and because i'm not gonna be able to hit anything i think with uh um behemoth even uh Got it. even Got it. after you know sprinting uh, i'll just you know we'll just sprint her up and then miss nice we like miss What's up, boss? um be kind of cool if we could do a melee hit. Oh, these pools, pools of water, by the way, are are uh, a godsend for uh, heat. Again, if we stand in them, we basically it's just like free cooling. 
Can we do a precision strike on them? I don't know if it's worth it with just the little machine guns, but hey, you never know. Hey, that's not bad. I was a little bit worried about the, uh, that tank, the scorpion. Um, I think we're in a good position with glitch to hit that thing. I'm just going to commit a full attack on it. Glad I did. You like that? A galleon just uh, went through the spores. It's probably going to take some damage. Plus, uh, spores stick to units and interfere with targeting systems. Plus four difficulty to hit this unit. Oh, okay. So it actually benefits them. Weak against melee. Good to go. I don't think I can hit it from here. But I will certainly try and shoot it. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty good. I liked that. That was fun. Can we jump in the water with the B? Yes, we can. We can just barely get into the, uh, the water with the blackjack, which is great because it means we can shoot with reckless abandon. Let's do a precision strike on this thing. Just hit its left torso. Nice. Broke its arm off. And we can certainly hit the spider with our scout. So that's going to be good. Nice. Ammo explosion. <laughs> the, sh the machine guns after we've knocked it down is so good. That was it? My goodness, that was quick. Well, you can question my methods, but you can't question my results. Um, I guess, yeah, we get, I guess, no parts from that. No, here are our parts. We got an AC-5, an LRM-10. Ooh, an LRM-10, that's actually really nice. Look at everything we forgot, forgoed, though. The support lasers would have been really nice. We're actually doing pretty good now, money-wise. We could even think about maybe buying a couple things. But I'm not going to until I feel, like, very flush. I want to be able to buy mech parts in the future, and so I really want to kind of build up my coffers. But hey, we're feeling, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable than I did at the beginning of the episode. So we're going to go ahead and take this. Oh, wow, there's more missions now. Oh, we could continue taking missions, I suppose. This is actually a mission that helps the pirates. And then it would, we would lose rep with the free world, free world's league. Um, so we're, we're not in a great, you know, you do kind of want to pick a faction. To, to make, like, your, uh, you know, one you kind of double, triple down on. Kind of want to do one more mission. Um, why don't we do this one, and I'll actually go for parts this time. Let's do one more. I'm having such a good time, you know? But yeah, like, I guess, you know, between, um, I mean, this is kind of the gameplay loop of Battletech is that, uh, between story missions, you can take as many or as little, um, of these kind of freelancing missions as you want, um, picking and choosing based on difficulty and, uh, building up your mechs, building up the experience of your, um, uh, Lancers, which by the way, um, I, not Lancers, sorry, uh, mech warriors, uh, I really should have spent the experience. I've built up quite a bit of experience and, and they could probably all get some more abilities, but uh, I'm being very lazy about that. Well, definitely, I will definitely do that before the end of the episode in preparation for doing the next story mission. I believe the next story mission is actually quite, well, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it's definitely got stuff going on, so. Sometimes these are very quick to load, and then sometimes they need a minute. Destroy the convoy. Boy, guards. Destroy, destroy the terrorist convoy and escape. Okay. 
I don't mind like go in and destroy um, the worst missions in my opinion are the ones where you have to defend because you can't really do much to stop enemy mechs from just like shooting whatever it is you're supposed to defend the merit convoy is inbound commander let's find and intercept the vehicles before they escape the trap oh this actually can be kind of a bummer then we'll extract our designated location good luck yeah this can actually be kind of a huge bummer um if you're not careful because that convoy you really got to focus the convoy Don't need to tell me twice. i took this mission um in my first playthrough and um the convoy almost escaped because they are pretty fast and they prioritize moving this is some difficult ter terrain you don't want to yo can we please you don't want to stand or move through that if you can help it it's not a big deal if you do but we would prefer not to Um, so yeah, I'm assuming we're we want to actually move over here Okay, let's go this way Location confirmed. I think I've just put my scout in a very bad position, but they've got tons of evasion so they shouldn't take too much damage if any I'm going to sprint them along and build up our evasion and then I'm just going to have him work through the, the cars. This is kind of risky, I won't lie. Mm, maybe I should just re reserve him for now. Because there's only one enemy that gets a turn. Uh, it is the Locust. That's fine. We built up that evasion. So, you know, we get to make use of that evasion. Then we, then we can always move them afterwards. Um, I'll, I'm just, I'm going to sprint over with the Blackjack because they're, they're not going to be able to hit anything. So yeah, there's the Galleon. It's, yeah, I'm going to take another shot at the Spider. I'm going to jump over the, the rough terrain and actually we can start shooting at some of these vehicles. Wow, that was not what we wanted. It really didn't take a lot of damage in the grand scheme of things. So let's prioritize hitting that galleon. The galleons also tend to have a lot of firepower. Okay, I was really gonna say like if we didn't kill it there That would have been rough. I actually think it wouldn't be a terrible idea to hit these guys with um With my lad With the scout so Let's do that Affirmative. Just a little locust Wow Wow one punch, one kill. I am getting some obscene luck, but also, I mean, I know a bit more about what I'm doing. Maybe I can give myself some credit. Unfortunately, we can't get in there and attack that guy, but I would like to get in here and kill some of these vehicles. And um, doing melee hit on the vehicles... It's almost a guaranteed kill. Wow, really? Huh. That was good. Okay, we'll get a good hit here on the striker. Oh, they have a lot of armor. Okay, um, let's, yeah, this is better. I want to kill that striker uh -huh. in the fr uh, in the middle there. There we go. Vehicle destroyed. This is good. Out of vehicle. 
All right, we should be able to kill that other vehicle there. Nice. Okay, so um, just one left. This locust is gonna like punch me or something. Yeah. Ow. Ow, stop. No. Stomp. Okay, so I, I was like fretting over nothing, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna just, just the Jojo meme where like, uh, you know, the, the locust and the blackjack are beating up on the on the little locust or the I guess my blackjack and the vindicator. <laughs> uh, the shadow hawk is just sipping on a, the, you know, their coffee and then they join in, start kicking it. Kick it! <laughs> Commander, the area has been cleared. Darius has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Um, kind of sucks that I went full parts on this mission and all we're going to get are like locusts. Pretty sure there wasn't anything else, right? Was there even a commando? Did we take any structural damage? I don't think we did. Yeah, two locust parts. We could, you know, what we could do, two LRM tens. Oh, wait a minute. Honestly, honestly, I kind of like the lasers. I like the support lasers. Uh, the LRM ten is ten is a hundred percent more valuable. Don't get me wrong. But we'll probably get an LRM ten if I'm being honest. We got the other support laser. Um, we got the LRM fives. That's okay. I'm okay with that. And we got one locust part. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm, if I get another, if I get three locust parts, I'm going to be selling the locust immediately. I think the spider is just like a hundred percent better. If I'm going to go for like a, you know, zippy mech, but, um, I, you know, the locust is fun. Uh, but it's worth some money. That's the main thing. Uh, and now what we'll do, first of all, let's check out our mech warriors. Um, big simple. He doesn't have enough for the next tactics. He does have enough for gunnery. Give him gunnery. And I guess piloting. Because he is, he is a short range mech, so punching is actually pretty good for him. Behemoth, um, we want her to have tactics. Mech warrior training complete. Yes, Commander. Decker. Guts isn't actually that bad. Gunnery isn't bad. Oh, no. You know what? We really want him to have melee hit. I'm going to give him melee hit. That's going to be kind of hilarious. If I go full piloting with uh, Decker, that means he's going to do ridiculous melee damage. Glitch, take some tactics. Training complete. Um, she's long range, so giving her piloting is really not helpful. Giving her guts isn't terrible; it gives her some health, but I think I should just save. Aye, aye. And Medusa is our extra, like our third wheel character that I'm not gonna, I, I'm not building up, I suppose, um, unless I have to. I could build him up; I probably should. Um, then what we'll do is we'll have a look at our bays. I'm pretty sure there's a way we could upgrade a few of our mechs. Um, for instance, our blackjack, we could give them a support laser now. Two support lasers, why not? Uh, can we give them something else? Another medium laser maybe somewhere? I don't think so. Wonder why they have so much extra room right now. This is six tons, so I can't really do it because then we'd also have to put our uh, ammo on there. So I'm pretty content with this. They are underweight. You know what we could do, actually? We could take off one of these medium lasers and put on a large. Oh, we don't have a large. Never mind. <laughs> 
Never mind. We'll confirm this for now. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Vindicator is our laser lad. They do have a support laser. Do they have any spare room? Kinda. We don't have anything else to put on them though. How big is the large laser? Five tons, the PPC is what? Seven tons. Tempting. It's kind of tempting to put this on there, but I'm pretty sure they're already struggling with some uh, weight, so never mind. Or not weight, sorry, heat. Um, we definitely want to look at the Vindicator. Vindicator is actually already maxed out on tons, but we take off this medium laser and put another LRM-10 on here. Brings them down a little bit. We could take off jump jets, though. Look at that. Honestly, might be worth... Um, I don't think that they generate... Uh, the LRMs take uh, generate all that much heat. 10 heat. A little bit. Not a lot. But I was just thinking we could take off one heat sink. Uh, how much... How heavy is the ammo? One ton. I really don't want to sacrifice armor. Eh. This is good. I feel pretty good about this, actually. So two LRM-10s are, are really decent. So now let's look at the spider. Pretty sure the spider is already set up. What we'd like to do, though, is instead of machine guns, I wouldn't mind having um, support lasers instead. There is a support laser. But um, there's only... The one support laser. Well, we'll buy it. Why not? New weapon systems available. So then we'll take off one machine gun and put on a support laser. I think that's fun. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think there's any reason why that should be a problem. We have a little bit of weapon variety at the very least. Confirm. We're doing we're going to be doing a lot of travel time. So this is why I'm uh, you know, doing this now Kind of want to take the Nah, no, we don't need to do that. We don't need to touch the vindicator. It's the only one that's actually kind of perfect right now um, All right, so let's go to our contracts and we're gonna take a benefactor and start traveling and that way um, we kill two birds with one stone while we're traveling all that work will be um, done to our mix I have it on pretty good suspicion that the next mission pays out a lot better than it's claiming but we're gonna take generous at the very least maybe not extravagant because that way we can afford to do this twice ish Our next tank is just about gone. I know I know but um, we will get to our next mission uh, before we have to pay our mech warriors again so I know I'm playing things pretty close to the edge but I, I I'm getting pretty close to a good payday I just got an Achievo. I don't know what that was. Refitted 25 mechs. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's my first campaign included. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Um, so we're almost done. We're nearly broke, Commander. I know. <laughs> Okay, so we'll say not yet, um, but we're pretty, we're, we're, we're ready to go. So we'll save that for the next episode. And uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.